Hi everyone, Kieran here with another FIFA 21 video. This is starting to come out quite a bit more often now. You, you would have seen I've done two trailer um, reactions on my channel. I've also done some like gameplay news stuff, a few things like that. But today, we're talking about the beta. Um, I think I'll start off by explaining what it is, what the beta is, because obviously some of you won't know. I'm presuming most of you already understand, but I will do that just because I feel there might be a few people that don't fully understand it. And then um, I'm going to tell you how to optimise your chances, really. There isn't a way to properly guarantee yourself it, but this will give you the biggest chance possible of getting the beta. And I feel like a lot of the videos you watch, they include different parts of this, but not all of it. But... I'm going to try and include everything I know because there's some things that I've experienced that other people haven't talked about when I've watched their videos. So basically going to try and give you the best information I can. And then I'm going to talk about if the beta itself comes out and you get a code and stuff like that, how you how you redeem that code and then um, basically how you play the game. So we are going to be starting off here by talking about things you need to do in foot itself. Most of this stuff will be on the EA website, but there are a few little requirements from foot itself N not all of these ones are definite these aren't definite from ea but from what people have experienced these are things that you don't want to take into consideration so apparently ea do take into consideration games played um so what i've heard from last year was it was for foot it was around 100 games of foot that you've played but um I don't know if that's completely true. It might be a myth, but you do definitely need a certain amount of games. I don't know if that level is 100, um, like it was suggested last year, but there is definitely a fresh, healthy amount of games played. It's not ridiculously high. I think it is around the 100 mark, but as I... Well, I'm trying to emphasise that that's not set in stone. That is not definite, heard from EA, but that is what people generally think that you have to do. Also, uh, this one is pretty self-explanatory. This one is pretty obvious. Um... You must not have ever been banned by EA. Uh, obviously, if you've been permanently banned, you've got no chance. But if you've been temporarily banned by EA and your account's come back, you are going to be blacklisted um, from being in the beta. So they will stop you from watching it, really. They will stop you from playing the beta. Um, but if you make another account and you do link it to another Origin, you've played games on that, you should be okay as long as it's on a different PSN or Xbox and it's also on a different Origin account and stuff like that. But most stuff is going to be on Origin itself. So this is your EA account, and there's quite a lot of stuff on here you have to sort out. So the website you want to go to to get onto this is origin.com. Um, it should just take you to your specific uh, like country's page. And then what you need to do is go down to the bottom left and sign into your profile if you haven't already. Make sure you use the same one you do on your PlayStation or Xbox. As far as I know, this beta isn't available on PC, so you'd have to be on Xbox or PS4. And so you're going to want to go down to that. And then what you're going to have to click on is um, EA account and billing. And that will take you to your EA account. There's quite a few things we've got to do here. So the most important thing here, there's two really, really important things. If you don't do these, you literally can't get into the beta. You need to have your date of birth above 18 plus on your PSN or Xbox and also on your EA account. You need to have your date of birth above 18. You have to be 18 or over to participate in a beta. And also, uh, you can see me doing it here, your regional settings need to be set to either the United Kingdom or the USA because they only um, give the beta to people in those countries. So you set your, um, as I said earlier, Xbox or PS and also your EA account to the correct thing. Set it to one of those countries. I believe Canada does work as well, but I'd say US or UK to be completely sure. Next up is email. So you want to say yes to EA emailing you. Security and privacy settings don't really matter. We'll go straight to email preferences. Um, set the frequency to any time as well. And then there's some certain preferred games I'd recommend you put in. FIFA's the biggest one, of course, but I'd also recommend you put in EA Access and EA News. Then tick all the ones like Competitive Gaming, Ultimate Team, uh, FIFA 20, even maybe FIFA 19 could help. And maybe EA Originals as well, I'd say. Um, but I'll so that's probably all the ones you've got to do there. So emails, you have to be opted in to get any chance. Um, you also have to be set to the UK or US, and you also have to be 18+. plus. They're all the things that are definite, and then the other things are to drastically improve your chances. So EA emails themselves uh, about FIFA are going to make it a lot better. So having EA play and FIFA like that, as I just showed... Um, yeah, the other one that matters is community play testing. I'd recommend you do this. So this is quite a big one because this is going to tell EA that FIFA is what you're interested in. It also tells you you're interested in um, their games themselves. So you want to go onto your account. If you haven't got an account, you can make one already. And then you want to update or make your play testing profile. So you want to sign in here. Uh, like I've got to do. It makes you re-sign in. 
I'm just showing you how this works. Then it'll give you a short survey to answer. It's not too bad. It's only around like five minutes. But I'll tell you what answers you should give really if you want the best chance to be getting the FIFA 21 beta. So mainly your answers want to be um, talking about sports. If there's any way that you can show a preference towards sports, that's what you want to do. So obviously you've got to do your English. Where you live, uh, make sure you again you put in United Kingdom or USA. Agenda and games... Um, well, I was playing games, doesn't really matter. You can just put out whatever you want. I was just truthful and I said 15 for that one. Uh, what you play games on doesn't really matter as long as you tick console. I just ticked all of them because I have played games on all of them. But console, as you can see me circling there, is the most important one. So moving forward, yeah, the preference one, this is important. Make sure you set it to console as your preference. And then we've got all these. We've got um, these don't really matter, I'd say. It doesn't matter what you say for these, but I'd say make sure you fill it in. Don't skip it. And make sure you... I'd say give truthful answers because EA might be checking to see if people have like, spammed down the middle or whatever just to get through it. So I'd say give answers that are realistic just because EA might be like vetting people to check that they actually do want to be testing the games and they're going to be reliable and whatever. Uh, what I will say as well, guys, just while you can see me filling this out, make sure that... Um, yeah, make sure if you get the beta, or if you've had the beta in the past, make sure you're not someone who shared it with other people, because that will um, affect your chances as well. So if you get, and if you've had it last year, it doesn't mean you're going to get it this year. There is still, when you do everything, it, I say it's about 50-50 chance of getting it, because I got it last year, but I'd never had it before. And um, last year was when I did the most steps, because I had two accounts where I played over 100 games, because I did have the Operation and some one as well last year. So I, um, I, I was lucky, because I had two different chances of getting it. But what you can do is, if you don't have it and one of your friends has it, you can go and play it on their PlayStation or their Xbox. You can go and play with them. That's an important one. Think about your favourite game, what type of game it is. Make sure you tick sports or racing for that one. Because that um, shows that your favourite game is FIFA, basically. You see here, I just had a um, few internet issues with it loading up. But then you should get to this. Thank you for completing your playtesting profile. And, yeah, it will just take you back to the EA portal and you're good. Um... Maybe come back every few days just to see if there's any play tests available for FIFA, but I don't expect them to do that. That is not something they usually do. But now I'm going to talk about if you end up getting a beta code. So you will get an email from EA Sports and it will say FIFA 21 beta invite or something along those kind of lines. Uh, if I can, I'll get a FIFA 21 to come up here on screen, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to find one. Also, make sure that you check your spam folder because EA might be sent to your spam folder because it might see it as advertising or something like that. So make sure you check that and then make sure that you um, use the code you get on your account. You cannot buy codes, okay, guys? I'm going to say that now. You cannot buy codes. You may be able to buy accounts that have the beta on them. I'd recommend you don't know because a lot of them are scammers. So do not try and buy the beta off anyone else, but do not buy codes themselves especially because the code is linked to your account. If you use your base code on someone else's account, it won't work. Or if someone else gives you a code to use on your account, it's not going to work. You're going to have to make sure that you use a code that's been given to you by EA Sports. So what you do is you go into the store, type it in, and then when the beta comes out, they'll let you play it. So now, very quickly, I'm going to talk about what happens on the beta. Um, you'll be given one mode to play, as well as kickoff. So you'll get one of Ultimate Team, Volta, Clubs, or Career Mode. I'd say I'm most likely to get Career Mode, because I've done quite a few seasons on that. But... Um, yeah, if you've played, as I said earlier, like the threshold of games, then you've got a chance of getting it on one of those. Um, basically, if you've played Volta, you're probably going to get Volta because no one plays it. Um, and then the last few days, they'll like open every mode out to everyone, so you'll be able to play on Ultimate Team, even if your original beta was on Career Mode and stuff like that. Um, no progress does carry over to the actual game. You don't get any rewards for playing the beta itself, but it is obviously quite a good experience to be able to play the game for everyone else. And EA do give you free packs so you can experience the pack animations. And then like, the last two days or whatever, they'll give you some like end game players to use just to see how it would work when it was like team of the seasons and game and whatever. I'd recommend if you do get it, make sure you do give some feedback to EA because that is going to improve your chances of getting it next year because they'll see you as reliable. Um, they'll... They'll know, basically, that you're going to be a good tester for them. Also, please don't go asking the EA live chat people for beta codes, because that really, really annoys them. That gets you put on the blacklist quite easily. One of my friends did that, and EA got very, very annoyed with them. So that is just one more thing i say you should do to try and get yourself best chances possible. Don't harass EA or whatever if you don't get one, because uh, that will set you off. Well, that will take you off their list of future years and just follow these steps it's not guaranteed of course but it's going to give you the best chances possible and i'd say um well beta invites could be going out from around two days from now up until about um two weeks 
But don't be disheartened if you don't get one at first. They do roll the beta codes out uh, over about two days. So um, it does take them a while because obviously EA is slow with everything. So don't be disheartened if you don't get one at first. And if you don't get one at all, remember there's always next year. And the beta itself doesn't reflect the full game. It's good to have something to play. It's good to be able to experience it. But FIFA 20, the beta was a lot better than the actual game. So... Yeah, it's not always reliable, but that's going to be the end, guys. If you've got any extra questions, stuff like that, don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you want more videos like this. I'm going to be covering all the FIFA 21 news. When the game comes out, I'll obviously be doing all my SBC tutorials, uh, normal stuff like that. And also be still streaming some FIFA 20 and maybe some other games if you lot are interested. So thank you very much for watching this video. I will see you soon, and goodbye.